Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Skyrise partners with U.S. Army to enhance Black Hawk. Amazon pauses drone delivery program tests. And DJI debuts new flip drone. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Skyrise partners with U.S. Army to enhance Black Hawk. Skyrise recently announced its partnership with the U.S. Army to modernize its aviation capabilities. The collaboration aims to reduce pilot training time, increase interoperability between aircraft, and provide optionally piloted capabilities for the Army's fleet, including 2,400 Black Hawk helicopters. Through a cooperative research and development agreement, Skyrise will integrate its advanced SkyOS technology into military operations. The system offers highly automated features, simplified controls, and the flexibility to operate both with and without pilots, making it well-suited for the complex demands of military missions. The partnership supports the Army's broader modernization goals by providing pilots with intuitive controls and automated systems that hope to reduce workload, enhance mission success, and improve safety in challenging operational scenarios. Joint testing and validation will ensure the solutions meet the Army's rigorous standards for performance and reliability. The Black Hawk is a cornerstone of Army aviation, with the branch having upwards of 2,400 in service. However, the Army plans to reduce the fleet to free up funds for the Bell V-280 helicopter, which will replace many of the Black Hawks. The V-280 is an advanced tilt rotor transport aircraft that was selected to replace the Black Hawk as the Army's future long-range assault aircraft. After the break, EASA issues emergency AD for certain Rotax engines. Hey, do you want to save $90 to $160 on your pilot training? Well, look no further. King Schools has a flash sale going on until January 23rd. Whether you're working on private pilot, instrument, drone, commercial, CFI, or more, we've got a hefty discount for you. Heck, this discount is so good, even my dog is taking advantage of it. Our best bundles are $160 off, our combo bundles are $90 off, and our ground school and checkride courses are $60 off. Go to kingschools.com slash sale to get your discount. Just be sure to do it before January 23rd, and I'll see you at the airport. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. EASA issues emergency AD for certain Rotax engines. EASA issued an emergency AD for certain Rotax engines installed on various GA aircraft. Rotax previously notified owners of such aircraft about the issue through its own alert service bulletin in December 2024. This AD represents an escalation from actions recommended in the ASB to mandatory corrective actions that must be accomplished. It applies to all models and all serial numbers of the following Rotax engines, 912 ISC Sport, 915 ISC A, 915 ISC C24, 916 ISC A, 916 ISC B, and 916 ISC C24 series. FAA's Statement on Starship 7 Accident the FAA released a statement regarding the loss of the SpaceX Starship vehicle during the launch of Flight Test 7 on January 16th that in part stated, quote, The FAA is requiring SpaceX to perform a mishap investigation into the loss of the Starship vehicle during launch operations on January 16th. During the event, the FAA activated a debris response area and briefly slowed aircraft outside the area where space vehicle debris was falling or stopped aircraft at their departure location. VFS holding Transformative Vertical Flight 2025 Conference 
The Vertical Flight Society announced that transformative Vertical Flight 2025, the world's longest-running conference on EVTOL aircraft, will be held February 4th through 6th in Phoenix, Arizona. It will present a comprehensive roundup of updates and insights into the newest segment of the global aerospace industry. In addition, its annual short course on EVTOL design will be presented on February 3rd, and the conference will be followed on February 7th by an open house of Honeywell's Flight Center and AAM Showcase. Discovery Air Chile leases EVTOLs from Horizon Aircraft. Horizon Aircraft and Discovery Air Chile signed an LOI to lease five Cavrit X7 hybrid EVTOL aircraft for delivery in 2028. Horizon stands apart from other EVTOL developers by incorporating a hybrid electric power system. The Cavrit X7 features a unique patented fan and wing design that enables vertical takeoff, and at altitude, the fans are retracted and its pusher prop transitions the vehicle into horizontal flight like a conventional airplane. The vehicle can land horizontally on a conventional runway or vertically on a small space such as a helipad. That's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Amazon pauses delivery drone testing. Amazon put a temporary stop to testing its drone delivery program Prime Air in Texas and Arizona on January 17th. The decision follows two drone incidents in late 2024. In September 2024, the company's drone operators were simulating how drones would perform when one of the propellers failed and unintentionally launched two test flights at once, causing the pair of drones to collide. Just a few months later, in December, two other Amazon drones crashed into each other. The weather at the test facility, located in Pendleton, Oregon, was reportedly rainy when the incident occurred. These incidents are just part of the mounting pile of issues for Prime Air. Amazon paused the program again back in April before it rolled out in Lockford, California, in order to, quote, prioritize our resources to continue growing the program. The program had also had several executives evacuate their positions, including its director of safety, flight ops, and regulatory affairs, Sean Cassidy. Another major issue that Amazon is working through is costs. In 2022, leaked internal documents show that it could cost the company up to $63 by 2025 to complete a single delivery. The pause will affect Amazon's commercial drone operations in both Texas and Arizona, at least until its fleet has undergone critical software updates. After these messages, DJI debuts new Flip Drone. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. DJI debuts new Flip Drone. DJI recently launched its new Flip Drone to cater to content creators and newbies. The Flip Drone is a compact, foldable model that weighs under 249 grams, making it highly portable and exempt from FAA registration requirements for recreational use. It's equipped with a one 1.3-inch CMOS sensor capable of capturing 48MP photos and shooting 4K HDR videos at 60 frames per second. The Flip also features intelligent shooting modes like Droney, Circle, Rocket, and Boomerang. Its Master Shots feature automatically creates edited sequences from diverse camera movements, and Focus Track allows for creative subject tracking. The DJI Flip's intelligent flight battery provides up to 31 minutes of flight time, and its parallel charging hub charges two batteries at once to reduce downtime. It can be controlled with the DJI RC-N3 or RC-2 remote controllers or via the DJI Fly app, which also supports voice control for hands-free operation. The drone uses intelligent noise filtering for better audio recording. As compared to the DJI Neo, the Flip offers better video quality and advanced features, though enthusiasts may still prefer higher-end models like the DJI Mini Pro. The Flip is available for $439, with options for the DJI RC2 controller at $639 and the Fly More combo at $779. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.